Hello, everybody. Now we're thinking about interests um, that happen at different frequencies. Interest can compound yearly, half yearly, quarterly, monthly. And so let's kind of see how we can work with this. Here is the formula, but as we go forward, we're really going to use your Casio a lot more than, than this formula. So in example five, I want to show you how to use the Casio. It's a little bit different from the instructions here, so I, I want to walk you through it. Um, so question one here in this example, Rafael invests 5,000 Brazilian real in a bank offering 2.5% interest compounded annually. Calculate the amount of money he has after five years. So you could use this equation right up here where K is the compounding frequency. For, so for annually, it'd be one. Or like, let's just practice using your Casio for this because um, I think it's going to let you be a lot more efficient on these types of things. So um, let's go to your Casio and let's find the finance button. So if you're right up here at the menu, you go all the way to this button, TM, TVM. It's got a little money sign in it. This is our finance button right here. And it should bring you to this page right here. We've got a lot of things that we'll talk about, but um, what we want to do is this compound interest right here. So I'll just press F2, and then we'll get to this. Now, for this question right here, um, Raphael invests $5,000, offering 2.5% interest. So um, let's go to, okay, first of all, how many years was this again? Uh, after five years, he is going to have, yeah, how much money will he have after five years? Okay, so five. Interest is 2.5%. And the present value, this is the thing that I think is a little bit confusing. The present value is going to be negative $5,000. Um, and this is usually negative because you're giving your money to the bank so they can use it and then give you interest back with the, with the, um, with the initial amount of money back with the interest. So your present value is going to be negative most of the time here. So a negative 5,000. PMT, as you can see, stands for periodic money transfers. We'll use it when we're talking about annuities, and that, that's not yet. So we can leave that as zero. Um, future value is what we're trying to solve. What you'll see in Casio is that you can't actually leave this blank, so it's okay for you to put zero in it. Um, because we will tell the calculator what to solve for down here. Now, um, PPY, or in Casio, it's just PY. That's just um, the periods in the year. When you're dealing with years, this is always one. So, okay, we can put one in for that. And then for CPY, this is the compounding periods. This is where we say, okay, are we compounding annually, half annually, quarterly, monthly? So in this first question, 1A, we're doing this annually, so we can just leave it as 1 um, right here. Okay, now to solve for the future value after five years right here, we are going to cl uh, click this F5 button right here, okay? Um, and we get this number, 5,657 and 4 cents. Let's check it with what they got. They got the same thing, 5,657. 657 and 4 cents. So I'm just going to highlight this right here. Okay. Now, what we it goes on from here. After the five years, Raphael withdraws all of his money and puts it in another bank that offers 2.5% interest per year compounded monthly here. Okay. So calculate the amount of money that he has in the bank after three more years. All right. So now it's like, let's go back. Um, the interest stays the same. Our present value is no longer 5000 Our present value right here um, is at 5657 and 4 cents because he's putting that amount of money in. So don't care about the annuity payments, PMT. Um, our future value will put a zero because we want to solve for that. Our pay periods are still one, but our compounding periods, this is where we are thinking about 12 because it's monthly here. It says right here in B, compounded monthly. So we know that that means 12. All right, um, let's see if we have it all there. Well, in that five years, whew, good catch. It's three years more in this new bank, three more years. So three. 
Okay, now what are we solving for? We're solving for the future value of the money after three years. So we'll click on this F5 button right here. And $6,097.16 or so. Let's see if they agree with us. Yeah, right here. Okay, so that's a little bit of how you can use the... Uh, um, the calculator to solve these types of questions. In the next video, we'll, we'll tackle uh, problem two of this example. Thank you.